What's good, YouTube? I go by the name of Q. If you're unfamiliar, if you are familiar, shout out to you and welcome back to my channel. What I do here is document my debt-free journey as well as share other hustle slash motivational things. So let's get straight to it. It's the end of the month. And if you've been subscribed to me for some time or if you've been following me, then you know the end of the month mean I made my student loan payment. All right, it's one of my favorite times of the month because I love making these payments just so I can get it over and done with. At the beginning of the year, I had a goal to pay $7,000 towards my student loan payments. And in order to do that, I would have to make a minimum payment of $584 each month. January was a success. I paid $584 towards my loan in January. February was a success. I don't know how I got through, but February was successful. By the skin of my teeth, I got it done. We're in the month of March, and March, March was long as hell. Like, it still ain't over. It's still not over. 31 days in March, and that means more money, of course, because there's an extra check in here. But I didn't meet my goal. I kind of cheated a little bit. I kind of cheated myself. I blew a little too much money on frivolous things. Like, I'm going to be completely honest. I had some dinners that I went to that I could have I could have avoided but at the same time when you have a significant other date nights you got to have date nights but in my opinion they don't have to be that damn expensive like I went to Girl and the Goat for dinner one night $400 but don't shoot me for this I I still feel horrible about it but we had fun I went to see Hamilton this month with my parents as a Christmas gift and those tickets were expensive but of course we did dinner before the show and we had a few drinks at the show so I kind of wild out. I've been wilding out a little bit y'all so I just want to come over here and grill myself and let y'all know that I'm completely imperfect and that's fine. Personal finance is personal. Always remember that. So for the month of March, with all the money that I spent, I have a $584 goal to meet. I didn't meet that goal. Aww. I surpassed it. I spent more than $584 towards my student loan payment. This is how much I spent. I spent $650 towards my student loan payment. $650. Bringing my principal balance to $10,333.63. Since I spent $66 more this month on my student loan than the minimum that was required for me to meet my goal, I got some new math. With the new math, $576 per month is the new minimum if I want to meet that 7,000 goal. So I'm honestly on track to crush that 7,000 goal. And I'm definitely going to try to do that. I don't know what the new goal is yet. But I'm going to keep trying to reach that 7,000. And if I surpass it, then that's just what it is. Like I always say, if you get any value out of this, like the video. If you find any of this interesting at all, subscribe to my channel. I go by the name of Q if you're unfamiliar. And like I always say, I'm going to keep saying this because I honestly and truly mean this in my hearts of hearts. Like if y'all seen where I came from, if y'all know where I've been with this finance journey and with this debt-free journey and just money in general, y'all would look like, how the he how does he do it? How How is he like, if, if literally, <laughs> if Q can make it happen... You can make it happen. I don't want to hear any excuses. You can make up all the excuses you want, but I'm telling you, if Q can make it happen, you can make it happen. Sorry I'm talking in third persons, but that's, that's just, you know. I'll holler at y'all next video. Peace.